Okay, so then go, 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 go to your second thoughts. Okay, so we're going to talk about three kinds of intersections and how you do them in CAD. Okay. So there's a there's a bearing bearing, a distance, distance, and a bearing distance intersection. Okay. So let's talk about those three. Okay. So we've got two points. Okay, we'll call them 501 and 502. Okay, so the first kind of intersection we're going to talk about is bearing bearing. Okay. So Let's say we have a deed, and in the deed, the land description for the deed, it says, go from 501 to 502 varying distance. Everybody understand we can draw that in CAD, right? Yeah. It's just a simple Kobo command, varying distance. Okay, and then it says, from 502, you go north 45 east to point 503. Okay, north 45 east. But there's no distance. So it's just a bearing. Sometimes you'll see that. Can we plot that? Do we have enough information to plot 503? Okay, we don't have a point. We're trying to come up with this point. And okay, we don't. Okay, all we have is one bearing. That's not enough. Okay, but now the guy comes up here and says, hey, from 501, 503 bears south 45 degrees east. Okay, now we've got another bearing. Where those two bearings intersect is where 503 is. That's called a bearing bearing intersection. Okay? Okay, so let's talk about how you do it in CAD, and then I want to talk about the two ways you do it with map. Okay? Okay, so in CAD, if we had 501 and 502 and this line drawn, and we have these two bearings, how would we calculate this point? Draw the two bearings in? Yeah, with a when how would we draw them in? With the construction line. Yeah, you could use a construction line, yeah, or you just draw a line that's way longer than you need, right? Okay, and then you snap to the intersection point to create your point. Does that make sense? Okay, now let's talk about how you do this with math. Okay, so there's the mathematician way to do this stuff, and then there's the surveyor way to do this stuff. So I'm going to teach you the surveyor way to do, to do it, and then we'll talk briefly about the math. We're not going to do the math way, but I want to, I want you to understand it. Okay, so... When you have this situation here, okay, you guys got to know these two, two rules of trigonometry, two laws of trig. Okay, and there's the law of sines, not S I G N S E, G N S, sorry, law of sines, okay, my pen's nine. Okay, and there's the law of cosines. Angela, don't let your eyes glaze over. Law of cosines. Okay, does anybody remember these from algebra class or trig? I remember it. Okay, you remember the name of them? Okay, so, okay, there are two laws, and I'm not, I don't want to low law, okay? We're not going to get way into them right now, okay, but, uh, so law of signs you use when you have, um, See, I'm going to be rusty too. Is it side angle side? I think I think law signs is side angle angle. I can't remember. And then the law cosines is like side angle side. And then side side side. Okay, so I'm going to explain that. Okay, what that means is if you have, we've got one distance here, right? Okay, and do we have this angle? Yeah, we know this bearing, we know this bearing, we know this angle, right? And we have this angle, okay? You don't need CAD to do this. You can do this on paper if you have this information. You can solve for these two distances, okay? I had to do this by hand in college. Okay, and you use, this is side, angle, angle. I'm pretty sure you use the law signs for that one, okay? Now, let's just say, okay, so that's how you do it in trig. Now. We're not going to do it, but I just want you guys to understand it. If you remember from algebra, there's a way to describe a line on a coordinate grid in algebra. 
You guys remember this formula? Mx, is it mx plus y? mx plus, no, y equals mx plus b. Okay, where m is the slope and b is the position up or down on the y-axis. That's how you can just, okay, so if you know these bearings and these coordinates, you can come up with a formula for these two lines, and then you have two equations, you can solve a system of equations and come up with this value. Okay, and never going to ask you to do that. That is the mathematician way to do it, but I want you to understand. Okay, now, what I want, also want you to understand is behind the scenes, when you do this, when you do, when you do this calculation in AutoCAD, it's basically, you're using the, the mathematics, the trig laws in the computer to come up with this point. Okay. And I, I'm, I'm not going to do it today, but I'm going to make us, we're going to do, I'm going to make you guys learn how to do this. So I'm going to give you the information and make you solve the missing pieces with laws of sine and cosine. You guys ought to be able to do that. Okay. We're never going to use it, but I want you guys to understand what the computer's doing. Okay. Okay, so that is bearing bearing intersection. That's the first one. Okay, now we're going to talk about the other one. There's two more actually. Okay, so the next one we're going to talk about, because you guys might actually do this in CAD sometimes when you're you, depending on what you're doing. If you're code going to D that's missing information, you might be able to solve stuff with this. Okay, so then we're going to talk about the next one. The next kind of intersection is distance distance. Okay, so same situation here. Bible 1 and Bible 2 with a bearing distance in between. Everybody agrees we can draw that, right? Yeah. Okay, now, they tell you front point 502, Bible 3 is 200 feet. Okay, can we, can we draw 503 with just that information? No. no. But does everybody understand we could draw a 200 foot circle? And we know that that point lies somewhere on that 200 foot circle. Does that everybody agree with me? Okay, then they tell you from 501, point 503 bears 300 feet. Okay, now, everybody understands we can draw a 300 foot circle. Okay, and that gives, now here's the tricky part of distance, distance. So this doesn't apply to bearing, bearing. But distance, distance is a little trickier. Because when you do a distance, distance, you always have one of two possible solutions. There's two intersections here. And you got to look at the context to figure out which one of these, which is the right solution. Okay. Now, same thing. There's some trick behind this. So what you really have here, so if this is 503, okay. Okay, now we've got a distance, a distance, and a distance, or side, 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 lock cosines. That's how you solve that. We'll let you solve for these angles that you're missing. Okay, and then you could calculate the bearings. Does that make sense? Okay, but you guys are going to do it in CAD. How do we do it in CAD? How do we do a distance distance intersection in CAD? Two circles. Two circles. Find the intersection. Make sense? Good. Okay, we got one more. Okay, the last type of intersection is bearing distance. Okay. I erased too much. 501. Five hundred two. Okay, we've got a varying distance on this. We know where these two points are. All right. So, if 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 the information, the D or the land description or the map we're looking at tells us, hey, point five hundred three is north forty five east from five hundred two, and it's three hundred feet from five hundred one, we can find that point in CAD. Right, we draw our line at this bearing, way longer than we need it, okay? And then we draw a 300 foot circle from 501. And guess what? Wherever those two intersect, that's our possible location for our point. Bearing distance. We draw that in CAD with a line and a circle. Does that make sense? Okay. You guys haven't had to do this yet because, as a general rule, we don't have you guys cobo really gnarly deeds, right? Or usually you guys report out the map. Okay, but sometimes when you're doing deeds, you have to kind of you have to figure this stuff out. Okay, so yeah, bearing distance intersection. Okay, so here's the quiz question: What are the three types of intersection calcs when you do cobo? 
bearing, bearing. Distance, distance, bearing, distance. Those are the three times counts. Okay, 